Hello there, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Today, we are going to be unboxing a backpacker edition from the Wordy Traveler subscription box. And if you are new here, welcome. I upload videos at least three times a week. If you would like to join our community and join our conversations, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell before you leave here today. That way YouTube will let you know each and every time I upload a new video. If you are new to the Wordy Traveler, well, you found the right place because I have about a years worth of Wordy Traveler unboxings in a playlist that I will be linking down below in the description box as well as the website to the Wordy Traveler. The Wordy Traveler is a subscription box that is perfect for book lovers and travel lovers. This is a quarterly subscription box and each quarter is centered around a destination. There are multiple levels and ways that you can customize your Wordy Traveler subscription box. Plans though do start out at $49.99 per quarter and in addition to their quarterly subscription boxes, they do have some limited edition slash one-time purchases that you can now purchase. They do look really interesting. Let's get into this quarter's box. For some reason, I constantly forget to bring scissors to unboxings. Not like I've been doing unboxings forever on this channel. So I, I have a palette knife. So let's get into that. Now this is the fall holiday box and this is themed around Ireland. Each quarter you do get some information about the destination. So this has some fun facts about the country. We have some facts about the castles. Also each quarter you do receive a recipe and for this one you have Irish shortbread which does not have a lot of ingredients in it. I'll be making this this weekend. They also do include a menu of the items within the box as well as a reminder that purchase of each box does provide a donation to Vitamin Angels that provides nutrition for two children. In this box, we have two beverages. So we have the tea from Ohio Tea Company, which we typically do get a bag of tea from them. This is loose leaf tea, by the way. Quite a good amount of loose leaf tea because it is always filled right to where it is zipped off. So this is an Irish breakfast tea blend. We also have some ground coffee. This is the house blend from Fair Dinkum small batch coffee. Now each quarter we do receive a destination based charm. And for this quarter, we do have a four leaf clover. And in keeping with the four leaf clover theme, we have the bookmark for this quarter. I do really like that everything is individually wrapped. So like individually like packaged, I guess you would say. So even if you get something and you're like, mm, I don't really like that particular item, like the box itself could make a great gift. The items within the box could make great gifts as well. So this bookmark is a metal bookmark with a gold tassel so there. And here we go. I think out of all of the bookmarks we've received so far, this one is my favorite. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, now this is different. So the print that we received this quarter actually comes with an envelope and it's a card, but it's a card with a mat. So you could send it off to somebody or you could frame it like the others we've received. So here is that picture. This is a print of an Ireland pub sketch. And by the way, in case you were wondering, it is just a blank card inside. So if you did want to send this off as a card, it could have whatever message you want it with it. Next up is a pair of wool cotton blend socks. These feel so soft and super warm. So the weather actually just turned cold today and it's supposed to be even colder tomorrow morning. So I think I might just slip these on. Me puff them up so we could see the entire, uh, that entire design. I love socks like this with so many cute designs on them. Definitely going to keep my feet toasty this winter. Then finally, the book. You can choose to have either fiction or nonfiction. There are also add-ons that if you would like a mainly fiction box and you would like to add on, say like a nonfiction or vice versa, you can do that. You're also able to request a switch of the type of books. When I first subscribed to The Wordy Traveler, I was actually subscribed to the nonfiction books and decided to make that switch to fiction. So this is one of their fiction selections. This is from Susan O'Leary, and it's The Lost Girls of Ireland. Now a little bit about the book. The picturesque beach of Wild Rose Bay is the last place Lydia Butler thought she'd be. 
But having just lost everything, the rundown cottage she inherited from her great aunt Nellie is the only place she can take her daughter, Sunny. Hidden away in a tiny Irish village, she can protect Sunny from the gossip of Dublin and the real reason they have nowhere else to live. The cottage is part of the old Coast Guard station, and other eccentric residents are quick to introduce themselves when Lydia arrives. Lydia instantly feels less alone, fascinated by the stories they have about Nellie, and she's charmed by American artist Jason O'Callaghan, the mysterious man who lives next door. But the longer Lydia relaxes under the moonlight, the more the secret she's keeping from Sunny threatens to come out. And as she finds herself running into Jason's arms, she knows she must be honest and face up about the past she tries to forget. Has she finally found people who will truly accept her? Or will the truth force her to leave the cottage for good? Mm, sounds a little mysterious as well. Have you read The Lost Girls of Ireland? If so, what did you think of it? That is it for this quarter's Wordy Traveler subscription box. Little spoiler, next quarter's subscription box, the destination will be Peru. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.